hello and welcome back in this video I'll show you how to use the table component in the app designer so I have a new project here and this is the canvas I can drag and drop the table here and uh, for my test program I'll use a button over here okay now uh, table uh, here we have some properties uh, I have uh, selected the table and in the uh, here we have called back an inspector uh, I'm I have selected the property inspector here so it shows me the property of uh, this table uh, this table so uh, the column name as you can see here it says column 1 column 2 3 and 4 you can uh, set them here yeah, you can just uh, if I if I type uh, like first column so first column so it, you can see the name uh, has been changed similarly I can change uh, the the other uh, column names uh, column 2 column 3 so the, you can set this property from um, co column name uh, one important thing you need to uh, remember here is that the table here uh, is different from the one you use in uh, for example Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Word where you edit tables here the table is used to display a certain data you have in your program that is running behind this uh, canvas or this design view so uh, don't think that you are actually editing some data here you are uh, you will be having data in, in running behind this uh, design view in here in the code and you you can display that data over here okay so uh, the first very simple program that i'm going to write here is uh, I'll, I'll write it here in the callback function all right so the very simple program that i'm going to write is that i'll generate a magic square so the function for the magic square is magic and i'm going to type in let's say three so it will be a three by three matrix and now i just want to display this uh, three by three matrix in my table so I, i'm going to write app dot i have this uh, table so ui table dot data i'm going to change the data property i'll this by uh, updating this proper data property you can control the the, the uh, data that that's going to be visible on the uh, on the table so so that's equals to m so that's a, a, my very basic program to display a three by three matrix three uh, in fact a magic square on my table so i'll just run this program uh, okay table magic okay so here comes uh, my GUI and I'm going to press this button and the the 3 by 3 magic square is here okay so uh, if you add them uh, you'll get 15 row wise column wise gives you 15 diagonal gives you 15 so that's perfect okay similarly if I uh, if I go for the let's say a 5 by 5 what's going to happen here we are going to get a 5 by 5 matrix okay magic square and uh, as you can see that we had in the properties we had only uh, till column 4 so if I want to set it from here, I, I can do it here. 
one way is to set that in the properties like here now we have a uh, column 5 and another way is to is to execute in the code so how to add a column name in the code so app dot ui table dot now this time i'm not going for the data instead i i want the column name rather this is something that i'm going to update so let me type in this is going to be string let me type in new column since it's just a string you can type anything anything you want okay so let's just execute it okay all right so now what i did here is that i just uh, wrote column name and I, I just set that to new column so what it does is uh, the column name of the very first is replaced if i want it to be the, uh, to replace the column uh, the fifth column the column name of the fifth column so i will use in the uh, curly brackets i'll write five that means the fifth column i'm referring to the fifth column so now this time i'll run again and now you can see it is it has moved to the fifth place so in this case uh, what it does uh, is that uh, um, only the fifth position uh, in the uh, column names only the fifth position is um, renewed however the previous uh, names uh, remains intact so even if you have this means that even if you have defined names here in the properties you can also change them for example if i want to set this to fourth column so even i have initialized in the column name the properties but if i want to update it i can do it like this fourth column so that's how you can assign data to a table and you can change the column names of the table.